Western defense ministers meeting at the U.S. Ramstein Air Base in Germany did not agree on providing tanks to Ukraine as it defends itself against Russia's invasion. But still, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin says the alliance is focused on providing Kyiv with credible combat capability as Ukraine prepares for a spring counteroffensive, as VOA senior diplomatic correspondent Cindy Sane reports. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin announced a $2.5 billion military aid package for Ukraine at a meeting of about 50 international defense leaders who support Kyiv in its fight against Russia. Austin said there is a critical window of opportunity as Ukraine prepares for a spring counteroffensive against invading Russian forces. This is not a moment to slow down. It's a time to dig deeper. The Ukrainian people are... Earlier this week, the United Kingdom announced it was sending its Challenger tanks to Ukraine, increasing the pressure on Germany to send its Leopard 2 tanks and permit other countries that have German-made tanks to provide them to Ukraine too. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky says 300 modern heavy tanks are urgently needed. I encourage you to make such decisions that can deprive Russian evil. Despite the pressure, Germany's new defense minister, Boris Pistorius, says Berlin is not ready to provide its tanks. Talks at Ramstein Air Base, and Austin was asked his opinion on Germany's decision. Mr. Secretary, is Germany doing enough in order to show real leadership in Europe? Thank you. Yes, but we can all do more, and uh, you know, the United States and every other member of the UDC can, can do more. Austin said the focus of the Ukraine defense, the war has caused immense suffering, and it would be very hard to push invading Russian forces out of Ukraine this year.